I can't believe that this is still news to people, but yes, I make money making videos. Most of the people here on YouTube that put out videos a few times a week and have been doing it for years are making money. A lot of them are doing this full time. All right, YouTube Nation. What if we told you that you could make a living doing what you love, like making videos, but how would you go about it? There are people who have figured this out. People like Devin Supertramp. The three ways that we make a living, number one, AdSense, number two, product placement, and number three, stock video footage. A company in Japan, for example, they'll see our water jetpack video, which this is actually something that just happened recently, and they're like, we love this video, we would love to feature five seconds on a TV commercial, so we're like, yes. Take it. You know what else works? Sugar daddies. Not literally, of course, but two creators did invent a way for fans to support their favorite artist's future project based on how much they love their past work. When the Vlogbrothers lost one source of funding, they created Subbable as a way to get fans involved to help support their series. Crash Course will, of course, still live on YouTube. It will still be free. But our hope is that enough people who can pay for it, and we understand that lots of people can't, will choose to so that all people can have access to it. We're asking, and this is weird, for you to pay for content because you want to, not because you're forced to. Patreon was created by Jack Conti, who is one half of the band Pomplamoose. With Patreon, they're now able to pull in over $6,000 per video from their fans. Lots of musicians are using it, like Peter Hollins. Now, Patreon is a new funding platform, very similar to Kickstarter, but with one major difference. Instead of raising a lot of money for one project, it's small reoccurring tips for every upload. You set whatever amount that you are comfortable with. Every time I upload a music video, it will take that money out and you'll be tipping me that amount. Subbable and Patreon have been an awesome way for fans to get involved in what creators are doing on a reoccurring basis. But maybe you only have an idea for a big project and you need help creating it. I give you Indiegogo and Kickstarter. For these campaigns, it's all about getting the fans involved from the start and they're rewarded for donating. Another standalone tier that we're adding by popular request is a $50 standalone board game tier. These are mock-ups of what the foam finger, t-shirt, and hoodie is gonna look like. The great thing about Indiegogo is that you get to keep all the money pledged to your campaign whether you reach your goal or not. That's not quite the case with Kickstarter, but their secret weapon is their built-in communities like their indie video game designers and tech and even Hollywood. Zach Braff raised over $3 million for more than 46,000 fans. Maybe this could be a new paradigm for filmmakers who want to make smaller, personal films without having to sign away any of their artistic freedom. And while he is a known Hollywood name, it's worth noting that this is a platform that anyone can use. It's fair game, people. Everyone has the same tools and power to create whatever they want. As you create your vision, you may be approached by advertisers and brands. And these partnerships can vary. A lot of creators, like Miranda Singh, simply plug the brand organically into their video. As you guys know, I love Audible.com because they're the leading provider of audiobooks. They have over 100,000 books that you can listen to. And because I love them so much, I'm hooking up my Murfandas. For filmmakers like Anna Akana, productions can be expensive. Well, the last two months, I've had two sponsors, one a month, and I'm very lucky in the sense that one sponsor a month pays for that short film. I love how transparent she is about the budgets. She lets you know exactly how much everything costs. Maybe you'll be approached by a brand to create something original for them. Casey Neistat does that, but always in his own unique way. Dear Casey, 20th Century Fox is releasing a new movie. We'd like to know if you'd be interested in creating a video about living your dreams. Here's my concept. Give me the budget, I'll go to the Philippines and spend every penny helping people in need. This is what the secret life of Walter Mitty's promotional video budget looks like. As you can see, there are many ways to make your vision a reality. Just know that each of you is gonna take a different path. And let us know in the comments, is there a way to make money from videos that we missed? And if it's a really good idea, message me privately. Until then, study up. Or start practicing your ping pong trick shots like Dude Perfect.